are here with Jeff Ashley with his amazing comic books. Frontiers. Frontiers, wow. Yeah. How do you feel about being here today with like everyone here showing off your graphics and everything? Oh, How do horrible. you feel? Oh, horrible. Really? No, I love it. It's a lot of fun. You love it. What do you like most about it? Uh, I, the thing I like most about the Comic Cons are the costumes uh, because everybody puts so much work into them. Like all the Stormtrooper costumes and things, and there's just a lot of creativity and the Doctor Who's and you know all that stuff. So I like that's what I like when it's when I'm sitting here and things are slow and I just watch the costumes go by. That's pretty cool. But I like you know I like coming out and just introducing people to the comic. This is how you this is how you get to the fans. You know. Right. So I just through love bringing their heart. through their heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully they'll continue to take this to heart. Right. So would you like to show us like maybe one of these books? Sure. This is the awesome. new one. They look so cool. Wow. <laughs> this is issue three. And uh, here, I don't know. We'll look inside. And there's some fun things. And there's there's a big fight sequence here back here. Show you that. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> wow. Um, Did yeah. you create all of these books on your own, all I, the drawings and everything? I wrote it and created it. Uh, and I have an illustrator who lives in South America who does all the art. And then my wife does the coloring. Wow. Well, you guys make a great team. This looks totally fabulous. It's working out pretty well. What um, do you have planned for your future projects? Well, I've got two more issues to come out in this first series, mm -hmm. and then we'll put them all together into a big graphic novel, and then we will keep going. Um, what is your Facebook, Instagram, website where you promote your comics and yeah. things? So the website is frontiers.tv, and that has all the links to all the social media and stuff. On Facebook, where I destroy humanity. On Twitter, where humanity go boom because I Destroy Humanity was too long, and on Instagram where I Destroy Humanity. I started a title called Zombie Tramp uh, back in 2009 that took off, and it's been an ongoing series for over three years, and uh, I've just recently uh, done a spin-off into my own uh, label and company that I did a full crowdfunding for, and it took off, and then I got my own uh, label of my own comic book called Sad Girl Psycho Baby, and it's, um, like a post-apocalyptic future with uh, mutated cholos and impalas and lowriders and all that cool shit. What do you like most about this? Um, I just always like to draw like really cute, but like you know, like I'm a guy, so I need to make it all sexy. And it's just, and I'm just, I think violent th things when I write, so I, I always want everything to look like an animated series. Um, so that's what I do. I, I, it's, I make it cute and sexy, but almost like it looks like a cartoon on TV, but it's just really violent and stuff. It's like, I mean, this is my first time here about it but I'm already in love like yeah. this is this is so nice it's really yeah, and then beautiful I got covers for all the companies I'm doing like yeah. like uh, Lady Death from Coffin Comics and uh, some Puppet Master stuff and um, uh, some Aspen comics and uh, Big Dog Inc comics all these covers I've done and then this series right here is Dollface and this is more on like the anime side action kind of stuff it's a ball jointed doll that's a witch hunter and uh, this one, I, I collaborated with another uh, guy, uh, Brian Seaton, on this book. And this one's on its second year of a running series, too. <laughs> so where can we find you on social media? Social media, um, uh, Instagram is uh, zombie tramp. So zombie underscore cramp. And I also have a sad girl psycho baby Instagram uh, for the new title. Uh, Facebook is um, zombie tramp again. Twitter is zombie tramp again. <laughs> so it's just zombie tramp on everything. And then um, I just started a big cartel store. Um, it's uh, under my label. It's called Still Ill Princess. Is the name of my comic book label. So uh, you know, I'm a big Morrissey fan, so the Still Ill and obviously and all that. But um, but yeah. Um, all my uh, merchandise and stuff that I've been creating and all that stuff will all be on that website. So it's the big cartel, still and you, you know, you'll get, you can get more stuff for Psycho Baby and upcoming books that I have. How do you feel to you have your artwork on the cover of Long Beach Comic Expo? Oh, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. I, I love it. Yeah, it's uh, the cover of my, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, we have a cover for the Long Beach Expo and we did like a specialty book for the show uh, for my book, The Only Living Boy. 
uh, that I do with David Gallagher. One of the things that we were trying to do when we did The Only Living Boy was to do a book that was uh, for like the younger group of people who read comics. I mean, it's written so that older people will enjoy it, but the idea was to get the early teenagers to read more. And uh, so what's exciting about it is to have it like, you know, it's supposed to be about the excitement of comics that I that like I felt when I was that old when I wanted to get into comics like reading all the crazy space adventures and all the other you know all that stuff that was what made it so exciting. The themes of the book that's really cool is uh, is kind of that we can't do it alone. We need other people, and so part of the theme of the book is he's kind of lost by himself, and in order to survive he has to trust people he's never he doesn't know. They're weird alien creatures or whatever, and he has to learn to develop kind of a a group of people around him uh, to work with to fight the big bad guy, and so the so but but it, it's but they don't necessarily all trust each other. So he has to be like the kind of the the link between all these different civilizations and different alien beings and creatures. So it's exciting because I, I kind of feel like that's um, a little bit of a idea of what we need. Like is people who are different from different backgrounds and different places. You know, I, I'm working on the Only Living Boy, and I absolutely love it. We just finished the 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 series. I'm hoping to figure out a way of doing more, um, and we're looking to do that. And then. Uh, uh, we're going to have more of High Moon, which is a werewolf western book that we also do, uh, and that's going to be coming out over the next couple of years, the, the new uh, books of that. What are these books here? Oh, these are the five books of The Only Living Boy, so this is number one through five over there. And they even made a special Long Beach Comic Expo edition for the first issue with the cover from the, uh, from the uh, expo, uh, what's it called, catalog. And uh, basically, it follows the story of this boy, Eric, who uh, runs away from home. He has kind of a tragic life, runs away from home, ends up falling asleep under a rock, and kind of like Rip Van Winkle, in a way, wakes up in this alien version of New York City with, with uh, all these other alien civilizations that have kind of crashed into the world. And uh, they're all kind of at war with each other. You know, and he's kind of navigating this world where he's the only human being and is trying to figure out how to move from, you know, to move from place to place, learning about all these different places, but then it's lots of high adventure and action as well as kind of exploring this new world and trying to figure out how to be safe there and how to find other people to connect with in this alien place. Steve Ellis, Steve Ellis Art on Instagram. I'm Hyper Steve on Twitter. <laughs> and I'm Steve Ellis on Facebook.